Hello everybody, this is more of a technical video for anybody wanting to do recording and it's quite a niche topic as well because I am using NVIDIA Broadcast. If I just share my screen for the moment, NVIDIA Broadcast is a way of using your GPU's acceleration and machine learning capabilities if you've got an NVIDIA card in order to remove things like noise from the source. However, if I switch over to using NVIDIA Broadcast, which shouldn't take too long to do, let's switch over to using it. Now that I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast, the, the audio quality might be slightly worse because it's got that active noise cancellation. But more importantly, if I'm doing something that heavily loads the GPU, well, let's see, we move and you probably now have audio distortion. So what I was saying there was we probably have audio distortion when that was being played back. So this is highly irritating. I'm going to go through my test process at the end of this video. However, if you are having these issues, unfortunately, unless you've got another computer that you can use as an audio input, I cannot find a way around using NVIDIA Broadcast and heavily loading the GPU. Now, in this particular case, I'm using Blender, but I should imagine this would occur with any heavy loading of a GPU. Something to bear in mind, it's been optimized for probably gaming rather than using with a heavy compute program like Blender or any other 3D CAD rendering application. I'm sure we'd find out the same thing would happen there. If you've had this experience yourself, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And the only solution I found so far is to just not use it when I'm using GPU compute at the same time. Hope that helps someone. The rest of this video will be going through my test process so you can see how I came to my conclusions. And I'll see you all later on. Take care. Okay, so I'm recording at the moment. I've got some audio artifacts. Let's go over to my main screen so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to open up Blender, which is the main software I work in. And I'm currently using NVIDIA Broadcast, so it's got active noise cancellation happening. So what I've discovered, and you'll probably hear it here, let's just open up a particular scene. I'm using Samples GPU. If I go ahead and continue talk but render, I'm hearing distortion in the audio. I'm going to listen back to this clip now and see if that actually happened. Now that wasn't actually too bad that time. Let's just change the camera position to something else. Let's move over here where it was when I was definitely having these issues. Let's have a look at this and go ahead once again and press render. It's obviously rendering out quite quickly, but optics is not being used. That might be the key thing here. This is all uh, just testing and trying to work out what the root cause of the issue is. That's also taking, oh, well, it's very quick. It's only two seconds. So let's make sure that it's going to be doing this for a long time. Let's whack this up to 512 samples, and then I'm going to start rendering. So now the hardware is really having to think about it. And I'm taking more and then we'll look back at the video, which I'll go and stop and do now. We can work out, hopefully, whether or not just cycles by itself is causing the problem or whether it's one of the devices. I'm guessing uses the machine neural engine stuff on board the GPU, just the same as the noise cancellation software does as well. I'm going to listen back to that now and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I just listened to that back and it definitely caused an issue even just using GPU compute. So I think I'm just overloading my graphics card. I can't use it for the noise cancellation and using it to do cycles as well. But let's just test it in the viewport. So I switch on viewport and we do have open image denoise being used in the viewport at the moment, which isn't ideal. I prefer to use optics, but I just want to see how taxing this is. Let's go ahead and change this to optics. Now this is the base of viewport performance. However, the question is whether or not it also ruins the audio. Let's listen. So yes, listening back to that, that also caused an issue. So the question here is, is it the GPU in conjunction with NVIDIA broadcast software, which I'm using, or is it the fact that I'm using the NVENC encoder causing the issue? So I'm going to switch out, and this is going to be a live switch. I don't know if this actually works. And switch this just to the microphone itself. So there should be a little bit of an audible change there, but I'm going to just start the recording again, just in case you cannot do that live. Okay, so I've confirmed my OBS settings 
I've gone down to my Rode microphone, I've gone to properties, and now it's just the raw microphone itself. So the audio quality will be slightly different. It should be better, to be quite honest. But uh, with children and stuff running around the house and making noise, uh, I, I want the denoising there to make my videos nice and clean. Let's go and see whether moving around the scene and having optics turned on, let's turn it on nice and soon. This really ruined the audio before. Let's go and see if that's made a difference. So I'm going to listen back to that. Okay, so I think that is pretty conclusive. The optics plus the noise cancellation software, basically I cannot use both at the same time with Blender. I think the only solution would be to have two graphics cards or record the audio completely separately using a different system also using one of the fancy new graphics cards um, i don't have the money for that so i'm definitely not going to do that but in case anybody else has a particular issue when they're trying to record with blender and using cycles and trying to use optics at the same time and this is the crucial thing here using nvidia broadcast it doesn't seem to handle that particularly well so I hope that helps some people out there if you're starting to get audio distortion uh, when you're trying to record. Maybe not with Blender, but perhaps with a different program that heavily loads the GPU at the same time as it's trying to be used for this noise cancellation. I presume it will also cause issues with the camera software as well. If you were using that to isolate yourself, it may end up with a jerky video or not performing particularly well. Now this might not be Nvidia's desired use case for Nvidia Broadcast, but I think it's something that people need to just be aware of that they're trying to use it and they're also trying to heavily load their gpu it might not work as well as they expected that's it for now take care guys i hope this has helped see you later bye